We are given a table of values from a quadratic function. We're asked to determine the key characteristics of the graph of the quadratic function, which is called a parabola. And then we're asked to write an equation for the parabola in factored form. Remember, if the parabola opens up, as we see here, the vertex is the lowest point on the graph. If the parabola opens down, the vertex is the highest point on the graph. To help us determine the vertex from the table, we focus on the function values or y values. Notice toward the bottom of the table, the y values are getting larger and larger. As we move up the table, the y values get smaller and smaller until we see the smallest y value of negative four. And then as we go up further, the y values start to increase again. So because y equals negative four is the smallest y value in the table, we know two things. We know the vertex must be the ordered pair negative three comma negative four because y equals negative four is the smallest y value and therefore negative three comma negative four would be the lowest point on the graph and therefore the parabola must open up like this parabola. Again, so now we know the vertex is the ordered pair negative three comma negative four. Let's also plot the vertex on the coordinate plane. So negative three comma negative four is this point here. We'll label this point V for vertex. Next, we're asked to find the equation of the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line that passes through the vertex, and therefore this vertical line must be the axis of symmetry. Every x coordinate on this vertical line is negative three, which is why the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals negative three. Notice the x coordinate of the vertex gives us the equation of the axis of symmetry. Next, we're asked to find the vertical intercept. The vertical intercept is the point where the graph crosses the vertical axis. Every point on the vertical or y-axis has an x value of zero, which means to find the vertical intercept from the table, we look for the x value of zero, which is here. The vertical intercept is the ordered pair zero comma five. Let's go ahead and plot this point, which is here. Now for graphing the parabola, notice how the vertical intercept is three units to the right of the axis of symmetry, and therefore there must be another point on the graph that is three units to the left of the axis of symmetry, which would be this point here. Notice how these two points are symmetrical across the axis of symmetry. Next, we're asked to find the horizontal intercepts or x-intercepts. Every point on the horizontal or x-axis has a y value or function value of zero, to determine the horizontal intercepts from the table, we look for the y values of zero, which means one horizontal intercept is negative five comma zero, and the other is negative one comma zero. So again, we have negative five comma zero and negative one comma zero. Let's go ahead and plot these two points. So negative one comma zero is here, Notice how this is two units to the right of the axis of symmetry, and negative five comma zero is here, which is two units to the left of the axis of symmetry. Again, these two points are symmetrical across the axis of symmetry. So it doesn't ask, but let's go ahead and graph the parabola. The parabola looks something like this. For the last part, we're asked to find the equation of the parabola in factored form. And therefore, we'll find the equation in the form y equals a times the quantity x minus r sub one times the quantity x minus r sub two, where r sub one and r sub two are the roots or zeros of the quadratic function. We can determine the zeros of the function by looking at the x-intercepts, or horizontal intercepts, which we already found on the graph here, which were negative five comma zero, negative one comma zero. The ordered pair negative five comma zero tells us that when x is negative five, the y value or function value is zero, and therefore negative five is a root or zero of the function. And the ordered pair negative one comma zero indicates when x is negative one, the y value or function value is zero, and therefore negative one is also a root or zero. So using these ordered pairs, let's let r sub one equal negative five, and r sub two equal negative one. And now we can begin building the equation. We have y, equals a times the quantity x minus negative five times the quantity x minus negative one. 
minus negative five simplifies to plus five, minus negative one simplifies to plus one, giving us y equals a times the quantity x plus five times the quantity x plus one. The last step is to find the value of a by selecting any point on the parabola except the two horizontal intercepts and then performing substitution for x and y. Let's use the vertical intercept with the ordered pair zero comma five. So using the ordered pair zero comma five, we substitute zero for x and five for y and then solve for a. Performing substitution gives us five equals a times the quantity. We substitute zero for x, we have zero plus five here which is just five, times we substitute zero for x here, we have zero plus one which is one. So simplifying we have five equals five a. So five equals five a, we divide both sides by five. Simplifying, we have a equals one. And now we substitute one for a in the equation. So because a is one, we can leave it off. Our final equation is just y equals the quantity x plus five times the quantity x plus one. I hope you found this helpful.